everybody overestimates what they can achieve in one year because they just think that it's going to be an easy sailing, that the city's going to be okay with them, the landlord's going to be okay with them, there's going to be no competition, that the clients are going to sign up without any objections. Everybody overestimates what they can achieve in one year and they underestimate what they can achieve in five years. Get accustomed to selling. I don't know why people have this tolerance uh, or they're allergic to the idea of marketing and selling. They think that if I just build a better mousetrap, then people will come. Listen, build a better mousetrap and then market the hell out of it and sell the hell out of it and they will come. That's... Yeah, the, the world is littered with better mousetraps. Yes. So I say commit to the journey. And if you can commit to the journey, learn to market and sell like a fucking champion, and then be very specific in a niche market, then by God, you will make a multiple six-figure, seven-figure income. Oh, another great question. So the number one thing that was, that, that was the most counterintuitive for me was the idea of giving pushing the free line, giving without expectation. See, I thought if I give my best information away for free, how are you gonna buy anything from me? Why are you gonna buy a franchise? Why are you gonna buy any of my courses? Why are you gonna ascend up to my higher level coaching programs? But, and again, I'm not the sharpest guy in the room, but I do know who is making more money than me, and when people are making more money than me or making a bigger impact than me, tell me, you know what, push the free line, give your best information away, because when you do, you're gonna build the know, like, love, trust factor. I started doing that about eight years ago, and so I just started to give my best information away in email marketing, on blog posts, on YouTube videos, and now through social media, and. I am making more money than I've ever made before by giving more of my best stuff away for free. And that is the most counterintuitive thing that any marketer could, could do. I have an obligation to sell my shit to you because if I don't, you're gonna go buy something inferior from someone who is less experienced and then they're gonna waste your time and money and they're gonna frustrate you. So. If you look at it as you have an obligation to sell your services or your product, then you would stop looking at sales as bad. So where does this resistance to selling come from? It comes from low self-esteem and low self-worth. Most people do not believe that they are worth the amount of money that they are trying to charge. And the moment they can raise their self-worth and self-esteem and self-confidence, they'll be in a better place. There was a second lesson I can give away here is don't be afraid to ask for the sale once you give. So, you know, Frank Hearn says as well, he says, as you build up the Goodwill bank account, it's okay to build up the financial bank account and ask for the sale. <laughs>